everyone and welcome to week 13. This week we are going to tackle our final chapter in Word, which is chapter 11. This video will be a lecture for Guided Project 11-2. For this project you will use a master document and sub-documents to create a training guide for the Skiing Unlimited program. You insert sub-documents into a master document, split and merge sub-documents, change heading levels, and arrange sections for a sub-document. You will have uh, resources. You will need to open those. I am going to uh, copy those into a chapter 11 for uh, this course that I've already created, and I'm just going to paste those in there. And then um, start your engines like we've been doing all semester. Go ahead and click your Enable Editing and then save your document where you can get to it to upload it. So chapter 11 and uh, don't forget, um, in fact they remind you in chapter 3 that you need to unzip those uh, resources. There's three files in there and we're going to be using those relatively quickly here. So uh, number 4 is after you've done that make sure you go back to your Word document which is your Skiing Unlimited Training Guide-11 and when you're in there after you've saved go to your View tab into the Views group and pick Outline and then click right on that. And now our document is in, in an outline uh, setting, if you will. Place your insertion point in introduction. So I'm just placing it right into the middle of introduction. And you're going to click the Promote to Heading 1 button. Your green arrows uh, on the left are your Promote. This is just Promote. And this is Promote to Heading 1. This is Demote. And then the other green arrow facing towards the right is Demote to Body Text. Place your insertion point on the blank line below the last line of text in the outline. Click the Show Document button located in the Master Document group. Click the Insert button to open the Insert Sub-Document dialog box. And browse and locate developmentally disabled dash 11 file and click open to insert the sub document to the master document. Next click the yes to all in the dialog box that opens and ask if you want to rename styles in the sub document. Click the section selector to the left of disabilities to select the heading and uh, the text below the heading and that's just the plus sign. Click the demote button to change the selected heading to level 2. In I, um, I'm going to read this and I'm actually going to show you the move. Uh, the the um, instructions don't read clear to me how my brain functions so it says demote to level 2 each of the next three headings in the sub document. Um, all that means is you're going to take physical evaluation, introduction equipment, and skiing procedures, and you are going to demote those from level one down to level two. So that's physical evaluation. Now, introduction equipment, demote, and skiing procedures, demote. And six, insert and modify another sub document. Place your insertion point on the last blank line in the outline and insert visibly or visually impaired dash 11 and yes to all in the dialog box. Click the show level drop down list and select level 2 and this is your show level button here and we want to select level 2. And this displays two levels of headings in the outline. Select the disability section in the second sub document and click move up to move um, this section above the physical evaluation section. 
we have two triangles. The one pointing down is moved down, and of course the one up is to move up. Now disabilities is above physical evaluation. Insert and modify another sub-document. Click the Show Level drop-down list and select All Levels. And that just opens everything up to display all the text in the outline and place your insertion point on the last blank line in the outline. Insert and you want 4-track and 3-track-11 file. Click Yes to All in the dialog box again. And then scroll up and select the 4-track and 3-track section heading. And um, we are going to promote this to level one. So promote, and this is promote to a heading one, but we want to just promote to level one. We are going to select uh, the by ski and mono ski, and we will do the exact same thing, promote to level one for this as well. Next, click the Show Level drop-down list and select Level 2. In the second sub-document, Visually Impaired, you will place your insertion point before Disabilities and type Common and then Space Once. Click the sub-document selector for the first sub-document, and that is um, this little button right here. It looks like a, a document. That's not the plus. And then click the second uh, sub-document selector for the second sub-document. And before you do that, make sure you push your shift key and then select it. And then once you've done that, you will then click your merge button. And then the two documents are merged. So there is a box here and a box here. So you see that we've merged. Split a section and a sub-document to create a new document. Select the By Ski section and click, click the Split button located in the Master Document. This splits the selected section into a new sub-document. And you can see now we've got three boxes. Save the master document. Unlink the sub-documents and remove the section. Select the first sub-document, which is the developmentally uh, disabled uh, DD, which is also now includes the um, merged visually impaired six section and click the unlink button. This breaks the link between the master document and the sub document file. Unlink the other two sub documents. So we're just unlinking those. Click the show level drop down list and select all levels. Move to the top of the outline, and then click the first section uh, break and press delete. Now to do that, you're not going to be able to see those, so we're going to go to the Home tab and turn on our Show Hide. And here's our first uh, section break, and we're just going to press delete. Delete all the remaining section breaks in the document. So I'm just going to scroll and not use my page down. And I am just hitting my delete key on my keyboard for these. And there are several, aren't there? And just to be sure, I am actually clicking on those uh, page breaks just in case. Delete any blank lines between sections and at the end of the document. We have one more 
um, because that's a paragraph marking, so I'm just going to hit my backspace. And then I'm going to scroll up um, real quick and just kind of look for anything else that might pop up with an extra uh, paragraph. And it looks like we've gotten everything. Next, go ahead and close the um, outline view. And actually, before I do that, I'm just about to the top of my document. Um, I'm going to turn off my show hide. And I'm going to go back into the outlining and then close the outline view button. And so this looks great. We've got six pages. And insert page breaks to keep text with headings. So let's go back to um, just to one, one page. And let me um, control up. And it says insert a page break before the introduction to equipment section at the bottom of page four. And so here's page four. So um, this is a widow orphan, and we, we can't have widows and orphans in our document. So just in front of the I, I'm going to do the control enter for a page break. And let's just see if it's turned on. So show hide, and there it is. And then insert a page break before the gliding wedge turns, uh, bottom page five. And so we will insert a page break there. So control enter and move that down. And now let's go ahead and save our document and close it. And then let's get this submitted. So hopefully um, you didn't have any issues. And hopefully I did not have any issues. Um, if you do, just go ahead and use the Ask Dr. Barnes a question tab in Blackboard. Um, email me that way and I did get a hundred on this project. Alright, good luck everyone on chapter 11.